We've got a new programming feature starting this week and it's the introduction of levels. Now we're doing this so that you can further tailor your training sessions depending on your skill ability. So as you can see the three different levels that we're going to be introducing are intermediate, RX and elite and we want you to pick one of those three on any given day. Now some days you might pick intermediate depending on the session and other days you might pick RX or even elite. Okay. So I'm just going to help and give an explanation about the, the different levels so it becomes easier to select um, which one to choose on any given day. So intermediate, uh, in terms of a standard that you need to be at to follow intermediate, um, as it says here, fairly new to the competitive scene and you've possibly recently learnt the skills and you can perform the skills but um, in a non-fatigued state. So if the intensity was, was to suddenly ramp up or a bit of interference, then that skill will potentially break down. RX, this is for people who may, may be more compete at a national level. So, you know, we're talking kind of European Championships or um, Rainhill Trials, or in around that quarterfinals level um, qualification after the Open. And at this level, um, we said you can still perform the skills to, to a good standard with a moderate amount of fatigue, but the intensity does have to drop a little bit um, in order to maintain like a high quality of movement. And then elite, which is going to be the top end, and that's for people who are, who are in and around or on the brink of semi-finals qualification or higher. Um, generally, people that have been involved in the CrossFit scene for a few years. Um, and the type of athlete there who can keep and maintain a really high quality of, of um, execution of the skills even when the rest period's super high, when the interference is high, um, yeah, and they can keep plugging away. So as a little example, um, we've kind of used, we've took one of the most simple uh, sessions from, from the first week of the introduction of this, just so it's super clear um, uh, on, on, on how, it, how it differs. So in intermediate, you can see that we've got four to six sets there. This is a, um, a pull-in interference session. We're going to start with the chest to bar pull-ups because that's going to be the highest skill option in that session. So we're going to start chest to bar pull-ups and then it's going to go into the dumbbell bent over row and then it's going to go into the dumbbell farmer's carry with then a decent rest period to be able to fully recover so that when it comes back round to the next set, you're starting on the higher skill exercise of chest to bar pull-ups and you're going to then be able to, con to, to continue to maintain a good quality of movement. And the fatigue's going to come uh, in the second and third exercise, but it's fine because they're lower skill movements anyway. Um, so that's really limiting the, um, the level of skill breakdown that's going to happen in the chest to bar pull-ups, which is what we're going to need if you're at that level of athlete. Moving up one, Simply, just, again, just for the, the, um, the use of this example, all we've done is we've took the bent over row as the first exercise and then the chest to bar pull-ups as the second exercise. So now people following the RX are going to be doing their set of chest to, pull up, chest to bar pull-ups uh, under uh, a little bit of fatigue from the dumbbell bent over rows. Okay, and then finish off when the fatigue's probably at its highest with a simple exercise of, of uh, dumbbell farmer's carry again rest period and go through again. So there's a moderate level of, of fatigue and interference but not too much that it completely breaks down. And then moving on one further, completely change the order so the, the highest skill exercise in chest to bar pull-ups is last and we've got the dumbbell bent over rows first into the farmer's carry into the chest to bar pull-up. So by the time you get to that, those chest to bar pull-up sets the pulling muscles have been fatigued, the grip's been fatigued, the heart rate's probably going to be a little bit higher, and then we're going to go into that set of chest to bar pull-ups. So that's why we're asking people that are going to follow the elite to have a, a really high level of, of skill quality um, and experience in, in you know, competitive training to be able to maintain uh, the execution in this elite category. Now we're going to do these levels in gymnastics sessions. Uh, you might see an introduction to them in conditioning sessions, uh, but then also midweek workouts as well. So what we're trying to achieve from these levels is that whichever level you, uh, you select, you're always getting the right stimulus out of that session and you're not getting to the point where the skill's breaking down or 
you just ended up having to rest loads to be able to get yourself through the session. So there's always a good level of intensity and by picking each level, we're then able to tailor the intensity so that you get the most out of each, out of each workout. That being said, it doesn't necessarily have to lie on kind of the standard that you're at as an athlete. Like we do with the, the self-regulation of four to six sets, if you're walking in the gym and you're, you know, you're knackered from a bad day at work or you know, poor sleep or whatever the reason might be, um, and let's say you're an elite athlete, you might choose to take the RX or the intermediate route because um, it's just an easier way to get a good training session out of the day and you're not kind of piling loads of pressure on yourself to be able to perform at high level under high fatigue you know, because X, Y, and Z's happened that day, which, which might, um, might limit you in that session. Um, so hopefully, as a roundup, this will be kind of a next, uh, the next level um, to helping you guys kind of further personalise your training alongside the kind of knowledge and education that we can give you um, and just make sure that every, train, every training session is a successful one.